your restaurant needs a great scoreboard. Let me explain. My name is Ryan Gronf and I'm an author, speaker, chef, restaurateur, and I'm the founder of the restaurantboss.com, restaurantprofitandperformance.com, as well as clickbacon.com. I'm honored to be here with you today and let me explain a little bit more about what I mean by a scoreboard. I think the best way to explain that every restaurant needs a great scoreboard is through a story that I recently heard in a book that I was listening to. I listen to a lot of books. I don't read very well. What can I say? You've gotten my emails. You know that I get typos and things. I love listening to books. And I'm listening to a book called The Four Disciplines about three, four months ago. Stephen Covey and another guy. I don't remember his name. I apologize. But it's called The Four Disciplines. It's a great book. It's one of those really, really thick books. I actually bought it after I listened to it because the book was so good to go back and highlight stuff. But it's a tough book to get through. But I highly, highly, highly suggest you read it. And they told this great story about how important a scoreboard is. They were out consulting with a client during Katrina. They were in the South, Louisiana, Alabama area, regardless, a week or so after Katrina. And the client they were working with, you know, football, Friday night high school football is big in the South, as you know. And so the client said, you know, this is what everyone does in town on Friday night. Like, we're not going to take you out to fancy dinner. We're not, you're coming to a football game with us. So they go to the football game and... Something was different about this game because everybody was just chatting and in conversations and the game was happening in the background, but nobody was really paying attention. Now, in the Deep South, for a Friday night football game, that's not normal. The part that I'm not telling you about the story is that Katrina knocked out the scoreboard. So yeah, they had people like holding up cards to show the score, but the crowd lost interest in the game because there was no way to know what was happening in the game. The big giant scoreboard wasn't there, it wasn't working. So they lost interest in the game and they turned to conversations with each other. The same thing happens in your restaurant. If you don't have a great scoreboard, a great scoreboard, you're gonna lose interest in it. But more importantly, your staff is also gonna lose interest in the game that you're playing. I used to always say when I would come into work, I'd like, it's time to play a restaurant because it's fun to me, I love it. And so you need a scoreboard. Now that we've established that you need a scoreboard, what should be on that scoreboard? I'm going to spare you all of the details of what should be on that scoreboard, but basically there's some really important things, and then you should pick some things that are important to you. Generally speaking in a restaurant, I think there's six things that should be on your scoreboard. The first is sales. What are your sales? Sales per category, sales, everything. You need to know your sales. The second should be your um, direct operating expenses. If you're not exactly sure what direct operating expenses, there's a search box on my website or I might have a link uh, to a video that explains direct operating expenses. You should also know what your per person average is. Not your check average, but your per person average. Again, somewhere on my website's a video with more explaining that. Then you should know what your costs of goods sold are. Your food costs, beverage costs, liquor costs, beer costs, wine costs, etc. And you should also know what your labor cost is um, pretty obvious what that is. And then your, your cost of goods sold and your labor cost together are prime costs. And I think prime cost is probably the most important number you can know in your restaurant. But those six metrics need to be on a scoreboard in your restaurant, a scoreboard that you and your managers and your staff can look at. Now, you can choose to give access to your staff at certain levels, or maybe you print things out and you share it with them. Maybe they don't just have full access to this. But the point is, is on a daily basis, you should be able to look at your scoreboard and know exactly what's going on in your restaurant. But let's take it one level further, right? Now that you know what's going on in your restaurant, the scoreboard is reporting on the past. It's things that have already happened. So now what you need to do is you need to create some kind of system for getting ahead of the past. You need to be more proactive instead of reactive to the past. One of the best ways that you can be proactive on this scoreboard is to compare it to a budget. And if you're comparing your daily sales to your budget, if you're comparing your prime cost to your budget, then as you go through the month, you can start taking action on this. Because if you get halfway through the month and you realize that we're not quite where we should be on sales, you still have two weeks to do something about it. If you get halfway through the month and realize that you're a little bit ahead of where you should be on labor cost, you still have time to do something about it. But if you only check your scoreboard after the month is over, right, like a PL statement, or if you are checking your scoreboard but you're not 
providing yourself with a tool, a way to know, is this where we're supposed to be? Because you're not playing against another team. You're playing against yourself, right? So you can't just say, oh, we're winning or we're losing. You got to know where are we supposed to be and where are we so you can take action on that. I hope that you enjoyed the scoreboard that I showed you during this video here. That's some software that we've created. It's called Bacon. And if you want to check that out a little bit and get some free access into there, there's a button below here where you can learn more about the software. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, I encourage you, whether you decide to use Bacon or whether you do it on a piece of paper or an Excel spreadsheet or however you choose to create a scoreboard for your restaurant, I hope that you do that. I hope that you create a great winning scoreboard for your restaurant and keep everybody interested. Again, my name is Ryan Gromf and I look forward to seeing you on next week's training. Hey everybody, Ryan here. I really hope you enjoyed that video. Would you mind doing me three really quick favors? First, would you like this video? Wherever you're watching it, there'll be a button for you to go ahead and click and like the video and then leave a comment somewhere so I could answer your questions. Two, would you go ahead and subscribe to this channel? That way I can continually deliver you the newest updates every time I release a video. And then three, I'd like to give you something. If you're the kind of person who really wants to get ahead in life faster, I have a 90 day planner here that I'd like to give you. I use this planner every day in my business and actually I think this is one of the reasons why I'm able to get as much done as quickly and as efficiently as I'm able to. See, every year when I sit down to plan out my year, I sit down and I do four of these 90 day planners because I believe that we can't get as much done in a month as we think we can, but we can get a lot more done in three months than we think we can. And so I've developed a system, I call it my 90 day planner system, where you can achieve just about any goal you want in 90 days if you follow this. And I'd like to give it to you completely free. Like I say, this is on my desk every single day and I use it in my business and I teach my clients how to use it. And I'd like for you to have it for free. All you have to do is head over to therestaurantboss.com forward slash goal, G-O-A-L. Again, that's therestaurantboss.com forward slash goal. And then just give me your first name and email address and I'll send this right over to you, all four pages. Until the next time I see you, go out every day and improve the lives of your customers, your employees, your vendors, and of course, your family.